What is going on? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So today I'm going to give you a quick overview of what to expect for this upcoming week, what might cause the volatility in the stock price, what the current data points are saying, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So Friday was a pretty epic day for SoFi, largely to do with the technicals, that nice rally, but 5.58% in the green. And it did get over a lot of the key resistance points uh, so once I go over the technicals, it'll make a little bit more sense. But 34.65 million shares were traded on Friday. 27.56 is the average. At the time of doing this video, there hasn't been any PR, no SEC filings, nothing like that. And there isn't really anything anticipated for this upcoming week specific to Lucid. But looking on some of the data points, it's going to be a very fun filled week. So starting off on Tuesday, CPI. So a lot of people are going to be really watching that to see whether things go up, down, sideways. The year over year it is forecast to be around 4% and the month over month is anticipated to be around 0.3, which in my opinion, I do see it coming in a little bit lower than that. So I think the market is going to take that and run, but that's just my own opinion. On Wednesday, there is PPI. PI and later in the day is going to be the Fed decision rate. It is so far the forecast to be flat and I think everyone is going to be assuming that as well. But it's going to be what is said afterwards for guidance. That is what is going to make or break the broader market. And then finally to cap it all off retail sales. So definitely it's going to be a very crazy week. But it could give Lucid the nice boost up that it does need to get back into the five. So I'm going to break that all down. So at the time of doing this video, there hasn't been any recent analyst ratings. So I've already covered this in a previous video. So Bank of America, Stifle, and Needham. Um, so actually Needham was done 11 days ago. So two recent ones. So no matter what, uh, pretty good stuff for that. This did come out. So Linda did tag me in this. Oddly, I didn't see this. But they were actually debuting and showing off the gravity at both in Toronto and Montreal. So the gravity did come to Canada briefly. That would have been awesome to have an invite to that. And or potentially even if it goes down or across to Vancouver, I think that would be absolutely epic. I'd love to go there and just live stream the whole thing because gravity, like I said, is going to be that next big thing for Lucid. It looks absolutely sleek oddly enough some people are saying that they don't like it um i like it i like the stats i like the price point like who on earth is going to go wrong with this um, so yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, I'll go over some of the data points starting off with options. So $1.68 million in calls being purchased versus $1.42 million in puts. So oddly enough, there has been a lot of optimism the last couple days. So that's also given Lucid a nice push up above some of the key points on the technicals. Looking on some of the specific call options that were purchased, oddly enough, there was 13,000 that was purchased on Friday for the January 19th expiry date at the 450 strike price. So kind of interesting for that, but overall it is anticipated to be above $5 by the end of next week. Looking at puts, it is anticipated to be sub 450. So I think that has moved up quite a lot, meaning it's kind of bullish. So overall options is looking primed and ready. No matter what though, even though I bring this up, it's just a more of a sentiment. It doesn't actually move the stock price. Even if someone did buy like 10 billion Billion dollars in calls, it doesn't in essence move the stock price unless they exercise it or whatever else. But beside the point, on a side note, if you don't know options, I highly suggest in researching them. I know for the longest time I was giving updates on basically what I'm doing for covered calls or whether I'm selling puts. So I can go back to doing that if that suits you. Uh, typically every Monday, I like to just kind of capitalize, just do weekly options. So it's kind of a win-win in my opinion because either I get the premiums or I get more Lucid stock. So I do that for any stock that I do believe in long term and Lucid is one of those. And moving on though, starting off with shorts. So I don't see Lucid being a short squeeze play, but oddly enough, even though it did have a pretty epic Friday, shorts did not believe in it because they did increase 937,000 shares, 28.6% of the free floats being shorted, 253.33 million shares overall are being shorted, cost of borrow average is 17.45, and through interactive brokers, short availability does indicate that there is around 100,000 shares available to be shorted. So I know I've said this in the past, but man, having Lucid at almost 
29% short interest when there is companies out there not producing a single goddamn thing. Like it makes you scratch your head. And this is why I think that Lucid is getting manipulated behind the scenes, but Lucid doesn't want to bring it up because as soon as you start to say, hey, I'm going to start fighting against the shorts or whatever else, you start getting plastered as a meme stock and that just devalues the company altogether. So I feel like that is why Lucid isn't doing anything. I know I've said that in the past, like Lucid does need to do something. But maybe they're just trying to pull a Tesla and just eventually you get the damn job done. You just produce a significant amount, bring in revenue and shorts will naturally leave. So maybe that's just Lucid's plan. And I think if they didn't have the big brother, the PIF behind them, then yeah, maybe they would have to start a lawsuit or something against naked shorting. But luckily enough, they have big brother that has very, very deep pockets that can really just give the middle finger to the shorts and just throw more money at Lucid, as crazy as that sounds. But overall, this is a little bit more bearish uh, based on this information. So once again, options is fairly good. And looking at some of the technicals, so with it closing on Friday at $4.73, it is between this R1 and this R2. So $4.70, it was able to get above. So that is a very strong support going into next week. And then $4.99 is going to be that next strong resistance no matter what i do anticipate a lot of volatility at least going into next week and if cpi data is positive then this is where i do feel that you're actually going to see lucid for the first time in a very long time stay in the five dollar range potentially even maybe touching this five dollars and 46 cents so this high r3 so Definitely, that's, I think, best case scenario. But no matter what, I do feel it's going to be somewhere in between this R2 and this R3. Assuming all the data, like I said, goes to plan and there isn't a bomb dropped essentially after the Fed interest rates. Um, so there's no real speculation, no hawkishness or whatever else. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Looking at the momentum indicator shows number of retail investors have been getting into Lucid and rightfully so. Looking at stochastic, so you do have a nice deviation so black line above the red showing a nice bullish segment starting to and leading into next week it is at 70 so if lucid does go up to around the five dollar range you are going to see some consolidation so because the stochastic is going to be at that stage very overbought so the technicals might need to cool off a little bit so just anticipate that there might be a pullback potentially to this same range to the 470 range but that'll still be very natural and good for bigger picture lucid but once again and as i always say i'm not a financial advisor you guys always do your own due diligence so let me know your thoughts what do you feel lucid is going to do this upcoming week do you think it's going to potentially go into the fives or do you think it's going to retrace into the low fours what's your viewpoint on all that don't forget to hit that thumbs up and give yourself a shout out have you been buying have you been selling what have you been doing one final thing i just wanted to share with you take advantage of this damn promo even says lucid it on the actual promo along with SoFi. So just sign up for an account with Moomoo throw $100 at it and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So this is one of the best deals. Link in the description below and also the comments only up until December the 31st. So take advantage of that. Link in the description below and also the comments. And with all that said, appreciate all of you watching.